Welcome to this episode of the Pro Wheel Builder tutorial. In this episode we're going to cover how to go ahead and measure your rim and your hub for the purposes of spoke calculation. To start off with you're going to need some basic tools, a veneer caliper, as well as a metric tape. We're going to start off by measuring the rim. To do so we're going to measure to the interior surfaces directly apart from each other at three different points. Here I've got 560, 560, and again 560 millimeters. The reason why we're measuring at three different points is because the rims aren't always round when they come to you. So you might end up with a measurement of 561, 559, and 560, in which case you would just simply average that out to 560 millimeters. Now with that 560 millimeter measurement, we're going to go ahead and add an additional two millimeters, which is your average wall thickness for an aluminum rim, at two different points, here and here. That will give us a total of four millimeters, plus the 560 millimeters across the interior surface. So that would give us an ERD, or effective rim diameter, of 564. That's how we measure our rim. Now moving on to a bicycle hub. We're going to use our veneer caliper. Make sure you have it set to metric because in the case of our spoke calculator, you would go ahead and put all your measurements in as metric. You're going to have to start off with your overall axle width, which in the case of most road hubs is 500 or excuse me, 130 millimeters. Then we're going to go ahead and do our overlock net measurements, which is from the outside of the flange to the interior contact point to the frame or in this case the axle over nut this is 29 millimeters and then on the drive side we've got 47 millimeters just typical for most Shimano uh, 9 10 speed driver bodies finally we have our flange dimension this dimension is going to be measured from center to center across to the holes. Now instead of going center to center, what I like to do is obscure one hole and expose one entire hole. A little bit easier to go ahead and get your absolute center that way. So in the case of this, I get 49.6, we'll just call it 49.5. If you put those dimensions into our spoke calculator, you'll end up with a spoke length that you'll be very happy with. Have a good time and happy wheel building.